Money, money, and more money. I love money and money loves me. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is Coach D of the 23% Challenge, and I want to welcome you to day two. It's called Money Day. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So when and what is Money Day? Well, it's day two. So that means that Money Day is the second day of the month. Now, what is Money Day? Money Day is an opportunity for us to improve our financial wellness. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So during today, we're going to be accomplishing certain tasks, but really only one that really helps to give us financial peace of mind that helps us to understand our income, that helps us to understand our expenses. Really what we're looking for as far as financial wellness is concerned, well, you just ultimately want to be able to not only have financial peace of mind, but you want to be able to save. You want to be able to stay out of debt. You want to be able to look at money and say, you know what, money, I love you. And you know what, I know that you love me. Here's a question for you. Should I participate in Money Day? Because I know that some of you may be wondering, right? So let me ask you a few questions. Do you have a savings account? Do you have a checking account? Do you know how much your total in monthly income is? Do you know how much your total monthly expenses are? Are you investing for the future? Are you saving for retirement? These are just a few questions that we can ask ourselves if we should participate in Money Day. Now, if the answer is no to any of those questions or yes, regardless, still participate in Money Day. I think it'll pay dividends literally. <laughs> now, there are lots and lots and lots of benefits to Money Day, okay? Uh, but of course, refer to the PDF file that gives you a whole list of benefits. But there is one that I would like to talk about right now. When you stop and think about how many different accounts you have, well, pause and think about it. Do you have one checking and one savings? Have you thought about investing? Well, if you haven't, that's what Money Day is all about. Money Day, guys, is about us doing more, being more, and having more when it comes to money. So use today to maybe open up a second savings account. How about a second checking account? How about getting your credit score? How about uh, getting your credit report? And once you are able to do those things, then you'll develop a better relationship with money. So let's talk about the details of Money Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Money Day is very easy. So let's say that you do only have one checking or one savings. Well, today I want to encourage you to go out and open a second checking or a second savings, perhaps an IRA. How about a CD? How about a mutual fund? How about going to <clears throat> myfreecreditreport.com and getting your credit report along with your credit score? So there are many, many things that we can do today, but the point is we execute. We must begin to do things that will help improve our financial wellness. On the PDF file, I give you a list. There's a huge list of different activities that you can partake in that will ultimately help you improve your relationship with your money. So Coach D, what did you do? Guys, I got my credit score. Now, honestly, it's not the best, <laughs> okay? But I do feel more financially intelligent now that I know what it is. And I also know exactly what I need to do to bring it up. Well, we all know that debt, whether it's credit card debt, student loan debt, medical debt, 
helps to bring down your credit score. So I know that I need to create a plan that will allow me to reduce my debt. And that's all I have to do. But what's key is that I don't think about debt. Instead, I need to focus on abundance and prosperity. And well, that's what the 23% challenge is here to do. But at the same time, it's helping me make sure all of my eggs are in order. So what are my tips for money day? Well, tip number one, and there are more tips in the PDF file, but tip number one, guys, is you got to have a plan B because whatever you plan to do on nature day, it may not be able to come through for you. So tip number one, make sure you have a plan B. Tip number two, and this is for those of us who are going to go into a bank to open up that second checking account or that second savings account is when you're sitting down with the banker, be prepared to ask questions because here's the thing. Bankers know a lot more about money than we do. So go ahead, ask questions, pick their brain, find out what resources they can offer you to help to help further your financial intelligence. All right. So when you're in the bank, please strike up a conversation, be nice, be loving, but ultimately get whatever you need to get so that you can have whatever it is you want to have. Vegan diet reminder, guys, always remember that for the next seven days, we are on a vegan diet. That's right. So being that it's day two, I hope it's going okay for you. I do understand that probably by this time you slipped up maybe once or twice. Don't worry. It happened to me. But stick with it, right? Refer to those lists, what to eat, what not to eat. And also, please, I highly recommend listen to my 13 tips. All right. Go out and buy the toilet paper. Go to Whole Foods. Go to the fresh market. OK, hang out in the produce section. Those are just some of the tips. But if you want all the tips, you got to listen to the 13 tip video. It'll help you out immensely. Guys, our take home message is this. You see that big bag of money that that individual is carrying? Well, you know what, guys, I want that to be us. So let's use Money Day as an opportunity to not only increase our financial wellness, but also to increase our financial intelligence. So in doing so, we will be carrying around large amounts of money. <laughs> and as always, guys, let's eat well, let's feel well, let's think well, let's do well, and ultimately, let's be well. Homework once again, and it's pretty much always the same, all right? Part one is to take a picture of what you're doing for money day. So if you go to a bank, take a picture with the person that helped you out. Or if you're not comfortable with that, just simply take a selfie inside the bank. And then, of course, we want to post that on social media. Now, you can use whatever platform you want, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you want. Uh, part two is to answer a question. Now, to find out what that question is, you have to look at the PDF file. So please do so. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all that I have for you today. This is Coach D of the 23% Challenge signing out.